Uh, I'm Gordon Bull and I'm the head of the School of Art here at the Australian National University. Uh, this is a graduating exhibition. It's the biggest event on our calendar. Uh, it represents the culmination of three or four years work for our students and uh, it's always a delight to see. We have about nearly 40 honour students and 70 odd 30 students exhibiting. Yeah, my name is Heike Kualitz and I've just finished um, a Bachelor of Visual Arts with honours. So I've just finished four years in, in the sculpture workshop, I should add. Yeah, it's the piece is called the Impulsometer and um, it's a work that's um, based on my inquiry into sound and sculpture. So it's about the visual information and the audio information that we receive but there's sort of the little spaces in between that that evoke emotional responses and I think that's what I wanted to explore with that work and the way it's balanced it's for me reflecting sort of fine emotional balances as well so it's a very precariously balanced work that even makes me nervous every time I look at it. <laughs> um, I'm George Emerson, um, I did honours in photo media at ANU. This work's about how a screen aesthetic can also be viewed as a social aesthetic. I find photographing friends allows me to get the, the image I want out of them and you know everyone's more at ease, easier to work with. It makes it a lot easier to do reshoots as well. Uh, I'm Tracy Pateman and uh, I've just finished a Bachelor of Design Arts in um, gold and silversmithing at the School of Art. Yeah. These objects are all tea related objects and they've all been made primarily using sterling silver. Uh, they were designed to try to reflect the time. So I was trying to, I was looking back at other periods in history, uh, in design history, and particularly I was looking at um, 1930s in America, American design, North American design, and the Memphis design movement in Italy in the early 80s, and looking at how those designers very deliberately tried to reflect the times in which they lived. Like the teapot I took nearly three months on its own to make, so they were they're quite challenging for me to make, yes. People need to come and see the show. It's a terrific experience. Uh, you get uh, a real sense of the work of the school, even while it's in exhibition mode. Our studios are always exciting places to, uh, to, to have a look at. When they're full of this uh, terrific work, it's doubly rewarding.